Hi, it's Amanda the Angel Mystic. Welcome to my free class. Great to have you here. It is a totally free class. Please get involved by liking, sharing, commenting and asking any questions. But we're going to leave those to the very end. So while I'm waiting for a few people to come in and join us live, I'm just going to share it out. So... And if you can share out as well, I would really appreciate it. If you're watching live, please say hello to me. Let me know that you're there, that you can see and hear me. Hey, Annalisa, good to have you here. Let's share out. And we'll, we'll make a start. Hope you've all got pen and paper. And if you're in the UK, I bet you're boiling hot. It has been such a sunny, gorgeous, hot day. <sighs> Too nice to be sat at a desk. So, just sharing. If you've not already been into my free groups, Abundance Manifesting is a free group. And um, thank you for telling me that, Annalisa. Um, also, um my other group is passion playground if you're not in either of those please feel free to come and hang out in there hello karen hello sarah yay ha <laughs> set an intention sarah that you make it to the end uninterrupted oh you're in denmark and it's hot as well brilliant Okay, let's make a start. We're probably going to be about 40 minutes. Oh, I was going to say 30, but 40 came out. So maybe I'm going to go to 40 minutes. Um, maybe <laughs> maybe the angels have extended the class a little. We'll see. It's hot in Austria too. It is crazy, 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 crazy hot um, at the moment. No idea why, but let's enjoy it. So leave your questions at the end. We are going to be discussing lots of different things. One of the things that we're going to be looking at and I'm going to be sharing um, later on is the two main blocks that people have when they're manifesting. Because, of course, this class is all about manifesting with ease and with grace. And you know what? I just love having ease and grace hanging out in my life all the time. I really love it. Um, hello, Carol. So um, at the end of the class, of course, um, I will be making an offer for you to work with me at a deeper level, should that feel a fit for you. But at the moment, the, what I'm going to deliver is totally free content. So have you ever wondered, um, oh my goodness, Sarah, you have got dinner cooked and ready before you started. You are off onto a good, a good start, far better than me. Hey, Pearl. So have you ever wondered how somebody can manifest something so easy and yet you're struggling and hitting up against problems all the time hello terry um what i've come to realize is that we do trip ourselves up quite a lot uh, me included you know we are all work in progress and i actually really love working on myself i love learning about myself i love you know un, um unblocking myself in the best way that i can but you do see that some people in all the groups that are run and all the programs, some people manifest things really easy. And I bet, you know, you can manifest things like parking spaces really easy. But then when you come to manifest something big that you really want, that can feel so hard and you can feel so stuck and held back because there's so much pressure that you put on yourself um, about manifesting that. And actually, energetically, it's the same amount of um alignment that you need whether it's a parking space whether it is um something bigger than that but the thing is though the good news and it is really really is good news that you can unblock yourself and that's what we're going to be looking at today because we're going to be looking at you know why manifesting can be so easy how you can unblock yourself and what is really standing in your way and the really and honestly the thing that's standing in your way is you it's always us nobody else but us this is going to be an awesome class if you've not you know shared it out already please do please interact please comment and let's make a start 
So I know lots of people that I said hello to and if you've joined um, and I haven't said your name, I do apologise, but I want to give you some really good content and I want to move on. So you probably know me already um, and a lot of you, I know you do because you're already in Abundance Club. <laughs> hey, Michaela. Um, so you will know who I am and what I do and what I'm all about and you will probably know what I've manifested because you've been on the journey with me at some point. And I have manifested an amazing life from um, very different from what it used to be like. But I am always working on myself and I would encourage everyone to do that. But I do love understanding myself at that deeper level. Um, I also love understanding why I blow myself up sometimes, you know, because I still do. I still blow myself up. Um, oh my God, Karen. Yes, it is. Good to have you here. Um, so the thing is, though, we have these old beliefs and, you know, I am 51 years old and I've got a lot of old beliefs that I've been carrying around with me. And so have you. We've got things that have happened to us when we were younger, things that have happened to us in our past life. We've even got ancestral lines running. So things that have come down generation after generation that we have just adopted as our own and it might not have even ever happened to us. So this is what comes up against. This is how we get stuck. This is how we can't always manifest what it is that we want. But we have so many beliefs that we can also change and we can clear and we can move through. So what I love about this work is that it's all done from a place of non-judgment. It's all done with, we're not blaming anyone that's created this belief and this block that is now stopping us. We've adopted it for, our, for ourselves, but we don't want to say, well, because my mum did this or my dad did that or my granddad did this, I am now whatever. You, you learn to heal it from a place where you're just releasing it. You know, let's get empowered. Let's get um, out of victim mode and let's start manifesting what we want. But quite honestly, I know my own stories that I tell myself and I know that I can get through them and create what I want. I also know that you can too. And I'm really thankful for all the all the difficult bits in my life because they've given me a lesson, they've given me a learning, they've given me a blessing. Um, there's a gift in everything, in all the difficult situations that you can face in life, there will always be something to be positive about it. You know, there's always something good going to be coming your way. Um, so I have manifested um, incredible things and I'm sure you probably know, two Range Rovers, houses, holidays, hot tubs, you know, it, the list is endless. I am always looking to manifest and we only ever want something because we think it's going to feel good when we've got it. But here's the thing, when we've got what we want, there will always be something else that we want because that's how we are programmed. That's what happens. So, you know, it's always about enjoying the journey for me. It's always about um, enjoying the manifestation as it starts to arrive, getting in that excited anticipation, sort of emotions and feelings. Um, and this stops you getting yourself so blocked because there is only you standing in your way. And the more that you can understand yourself, the better uh, you'll get through what you feel is holding you back. You will really be able to unblock yourself so you can have manifesting with ease and grace so that you can be like I am that has to be really conscious about what I think about because it will manifest. I have to be really, really careful. And I know when I've done this work, because, you know, we all have these different aspects within ourselves, and I'll talk more about them in a minute. Um, but for example, an inner child, we all have the inner child within us. And that inner child is often, you know, needing to feel safe, needing to feel loved, needing to feel, you know, um, accepted. The victim is often... Um, <laughs> pointing the finger of blame at everyone else but when you switch it all around and you can clear those blocks that you've got that are standing in your way this is like super effective work in your manifesting this is where these sort of step down and ease and grace steps up so that you can manifest you can literally think things you can feel into it 
and it manifests for real you know it, it is a bit of an art form but <laughs> You can all, you create your own look, Lindsay. I don't need to send you any look. Everyone creates their own look. Um, I don't believe in look at all. I believe in positive manifestations. And I know when I have started working um, with this that I'm going to tell you about in a moment, which is actually called Angelic Healing Process, when I started unblocking myself, with things, because there was things in my life still that I wanted that I wasn't manifesting. There was absolutely big things in my life that I, <laughs> hello Kim, um, that I still wanted to manifest. There will always be things that you want to manifest. Believe me, there will always be new things that you want, new opportunities, new experiences that you want to manifest. But there were some big things in my life, because I've done health to quite a large degree. I've done money to a, a really large degree um i was still blocked in my love life i was still blocked in weight loss um but when i got to the root of what was holding me back everything opened up when i did this angelic healing process that i that i'm going to tell you about in a moment um i managed to manifest this is no this is not anything but the truth but i manifested one month's worth of sales in one week. Hey Joe. I manifested a new man in 10 days. I manifested um, a holiday in Anglesey the day after, for free by the way, the day after I said I wanted it. And I started to release weight with such ease. Because I've done this really deep work and got to the root of what's been holding me back. I'm not saying I'm, oh, you know, I've got it all, my ducks lined up and life sorted. Because I said to you, you're always wanting to manifest more things. I've got a long way to go. But I do know that when you understand all these different aspects of yourself, that you can use them all positively. And these different aspects of yourself, and you have them as much as I have them, and maybe like um like me you're ignoring certain aspects of them so we have our feminine which is our queen and this is my take on it that i like to call my feminine my queen and you know she is that part of me that says mm, i want this okay she asks for what she wants and she's not afraid to ask for what she wants because it comes from a place of truth and deep within her of what she wants, but she stays really open to how that will happen. And then my inner man, my inner man is, this is my masculine, we all have a masculine and feminine energy. Um, my inner man is the one that goes out and makes it happen, that gets it all sorted. So when you understand all these different aspects of yourself, it means that you can become very empowered. And the issue that quite a lot of people have, sometimes if people are too much in their feminine, nothing happens. They're the, all the ideas, but they can't make it happen. And when they're in too much of the masculine, they are too much hustling. They're like burning themselves out. And as a single mum that's brought two kids on her own, I have been in my masculine a lot, a lot. But I had to embrace my my inner goddess and bring my queen forward and get into my feminine energy and get it all balanced out. And when you get those two really strong energies balanced out, you become so powerful in creating what you want. And then we have these little girls within us and you have your inner child and your inner child always wants to feel safe always wants to feel accepted always wants to be taken care of but when you know that you are safe and that you can provide for yourself on all levels how empowered do you become really empowered and then you've got your good girl and your bad girl oh my goodness and your good girl is conditioned to be good conditioned to toe the line to be accepted do the right thing 
and then you're bad girl we often suppress we keep pushed down because we don't want to be judged we don't want to be that bad girl but sometimes that bad girl has to come forward and then we have our saboteur oh my god my saboteur loves to blow me up loves to blow me up and i bet yours does too knocks you behind the knees and takes you down just when everything's really good so maybe you get one area of your life working really well and something else drops off this is your saboteur and then you've got your ego and a lot of people get ego a bit confused because they think it's all about being egotistical but actually your ego has a really valuable part to play in your life and your ego is about keeping you feeling safe it doesn't want you to put yourself into a place of vulnerability but actually when you realize that vulnerability is really a positive thing not a negative thing again you become even more empowered because if you can be vulnerable and ask for what you want from a place of knowing that you're worthy and deserving of it you are going to manifest it and your ego starts to simmer down starts to work alongside you and then we all must recognize the victim within us at some point or another you know when you're having a pity party you know when you're thinking poor me that's your victim mode coming through and we have all these different aspects of ourselves that when we learn to recognize them and know why they're doing what they're doing because they really are conditioned that way and have your best interest at heart you can work through them to be empowered you really can work through it all to get what it is that you want and then i've taught myself to do this what i call an angelic healing process and all these little beliefs that you have that are rocking your world at the moment and certainly governing what you're able to manifest will all have been created often by things that are pretty irrelevant so when you were a little child and somebody says something to you and the example i always say is is that say you did a picture at school and you came skipping out of school dying to show your mum and your mum says just a minute dear i'm just speaking to such and such a body and in that moment you think well whatever i do is never good enough you create a belief as a little tiny five-year-old that is still running your life at 50 and it wasn't even true it was just about manners it was just about being polite yet you've created a belief in that moment and we all do this all the time we're always we've got all these beliefs set up within us that have been created when we were little when we were in past lives because our soul has come on time and time again and also ancestral lines and that means where it's coming down generation after generation after generation but with your angel's help you can go back in time you can go into a healing process and get to the point when it was created and you can flip it you can turn it into something positive you can do this deep healing on it and you can heal this life past lives and ancestral lines but it's all done with no judgment no judgment no pointing the finger of blame just releasing everything and letting you move forward so when you're manifesting of course we need to be clear on what it is that we want and this is a little bit of homework for you i want you to write down in your journal what it is that you want and then write down all your beliefs that you have around that and are those beliefs in alignment with what you want or have you got some work to do because i bet you've got some work to do and if you say no well your manifesting will be with ease and grace and it will turn up for you 
and it will turn up for you fast if you've cleared everything that has been holding you back because that is the only thing that holds you back but if it's not manifested you need to do this process you need to do this and you need to learn to get to the bottom of what's holding you back hi linda now this is something i normally up to now shall i say i've only ever done for clients they have sessions with me and we will work through this angelic healing process but as i can do it for myself i've decided that i would share it with others as well so it's a process that you can just do yourself with your angel's help with a pen and paper in a journal and do this own healing for yourself take yourself back with your angel's support to the, when that belief was created that is not serving you and rewrite it flip it turn it into something that will support you with no judgment no pointing the finger of blame because what i do not want is you thinking that for me to get through a block i need a session with amanda i need a session with amanda because that will happen time and time again because we're always coming up against them i'm always coming up against them you're always coming up against them so that's not going to work always needing a session with amanda instead i want to empower you to be able to do this for yourself so anytime you're feeling that resistance that mm, it's not quite working you write down what it is that you want you write down all of the beliefs that you have around it and if your beliefs need changing you need to go back to the point of time when you created that belief whether it was in this lifetime a past lifetime it doesn't matter you need to recreate a belief that is aligned to what it is that you want so i thought you know what i'm going to share how to do this i'm going to share how to do this and i'm, I'm going to come together with an awesome group of women and we're going to be manifesting queens and i'll share this process with you all oh, this is going to be awesome we're going to bring group together we're going to all going to get empowered we're all going to manifest like crazy and then i thought mm, how can i make it even better I thought, I know, I'm going to make it into a mastermind. And a mastermind is where we all support each other. Because I know there's a lot of people that want to work with me at a deeper level, that want to work on like my Bliss program, but that's just not possible at the moment. So this is a real good opportunity for you to be able to work on yourself at a deeper level with my support in a group for four months. <laughs> you're welcome christine it's all about empowerment it's all about manifesting what you want it's all about healing at the point of creation understanding all these different aspects of you your feminine your masculine your good girl your bad girl your inner child your saboteur your ego your victim and the group will come together like an incubator to be able to help and support you all because i don't know whether you've ever worked in a mastermind group before but there's a very special energy that goes on in a mastermind a bit different than normal group work it's a collective energy that all seems to come together and it it sort of spurs everybody else on it sort of like pushes everyone in the right direction it's real conscious manifesting it's about being understood it's about um, manifesting all together using the collective energy and it is about using tons and tons of ease and grace it's about not being held back it's about manifesting in super fast time i mean let's be honest who wants to wait if you decided you want something why wait let's get it going let's get it going i always manifest well i used to say 14 days but it's actually sooner now but it's definitely sort of 10 11 days and i've manifested what i want because i do this work it's always 
always important to keep working on yourself. It's a place to come and to implement your goals, brainstorm your ideas. It's about getting support. It's about getting honesty. It's about getting real help in your manifesting. Hate waiting anymore. No, absolutely, Joe. Why do we need to wait? We don't. You know, there's no need to wait. Whatever you want is totally possible if you align your energy, if you clear your blocks. So in this mastermind, this Manifesting Queen's Mastermind, that's what we're going to be doing. And if you're starting to think of questions, please start typing them in because we're going to be coming to questions in a moment. I'm also going to be sharing with you the two main blocks um, and how that will, um, what they are and how you can work your way through them. So this program that I'm putting together is for you if you've worked with me before or you already have an understanding of manifesting at some level. That if you want to end 2019 on a high, because I'm going to be going for four months, so it's going to take you into December. And it's about connecting with your angels. It's about manifesting in abundance in all forms. It's about having more passion and pleasure in your life. But it is about learning how to do this healing process so you don't need to be blocked anymore. But it's not for you if you've never worked with angels before, if you've not understanding the law of attraction. If that's the case, Abundance Club is definitely a better fit for you so that you can become more aligned and more knowledgeable and be able to connect better. So it does all start on the 8th of August and it is at 5 p.m. UK time. And there's always a replay available because obviously we're all in different time zones. The sessions run on Zoom and they'll probably take about an hour each week, depending on the group size. Um, they, there is, you get contact with me every week, but the one week it's content. The second week it is a live group on Zoom. Um, when there isn't um, a Zoom session, I will be coming on Facebook delivering you some content for you to work through. So you'll be learning about all those different aspects of yourself. You will be learning my angelic healing process that you will then be able to use time and time again. You've got a Facebook group where you can connect with me and everybody else in the mastermind to support each other for the whole four months. And you will also get a full manual with my angelic healing process in it. Now, as I would love to give things away, I'm also giving you some bonuses. These are to help you get up to speed, maybe polish off your manifesting a bit or your connections with your angels. And this is two programs. One is Magic One for Life, which is a manifesting program. And the other one is Enchanted Life, which is an angel program. They are for free. You'll find them in the Facebook group when you decide to come and join us. You also get access to Abundance Club for the whole time in the four months that you're working with me for free. So here's the nitty gritty. Manifesting Queen's Mastermind is on early bird at the moment. And the early bird price is 1350 if you wait to pay full price, it will go up to 1,500. There is a payment plan and I will, um, let me put a link in here. Um, let's just see, I can do this. Let's just move that. And then you can have a look at all the details. Yes, Mary, absolutely. Here for a reason. Yep. This. Oh, people have been trying to ring me. Kim, was that you? There you go. Have a look at that. That's all the details in there. If you've got any questions, you will be able to send me a message. We can jump on a call if you want, um, or we can talk by messenger. But this is a really 
extensive program that is combining a healing process that I've never taught before. Um, it, um, I won't be, I won't this time because of my moving, but highly recommend your programs to everyone. Seriously worth the money. Thank you, Christine. Um, Christine's got lots of exciting things on the go. I was just thinking about it all now. <laughs> ah, it's all right, Kim. It's okay. So this is a four-month program. There's so much magic and miracles will happen in that time. Um, if you click on that link, you will be able to see lots of testimonials from people that have uh, worked with me before. Why has it not come up in here? Can anyone see the link? Mm -mm, I'm not sure um maybe it'll come through in a minute i don't know um i'll try it again facebook might be having some glitches um have a look at the links in there what people have said because you know it is transformational work doing this for sure so um i haven't forgotten that i need to answer any questions so please type them in if you've got any and i want to tell you about the two common blocks um it's weird my phone is showing something different to my computer so you know we do um oh the link is there you can see it but i can't thank you thank you you too and if you're in abundance club of course i always look after my abundance club members and that link that you need is in your facebook group because you get a, a huge discount in there so here's the two common blocks and i honestly know that you will have them too if you haven't got them now you will have them at some point either in the future or have had them and i bet they come back around again because they're sort of reoccurring blocks and the one first one is that uh, the not enough block mm, i'm not good enough i'm not clever enough i'm not pretty enough i'm not slim enough i'm not enough whatever it is you are not enough you will have you will have learned that from somewhere in some of your experiences in life in this lifetime in past lives even ancestral stuff maybe your grandmother never felt good enough and then your mother never felt good enough because your grandmother didn't and now you don't feel good enough to have what it is that you want so you're always making do this is what i'm talking about this is what we no longer need in our lives we need to dump it we need to get knowing we are worthy and deserving of having what it is that we want because life is too short not to if not now when when are you going to have what it is that you want and the other block which is always about acceptance we want to be accepted and we don't want any judgment no judgment they go hand in hand but when you learn to accept yourself you don't really care whether anyone else accepts you or not because you accept you and it's all about your relationship with yourself which is why it's important to understand all these different aspects of you and be empowered knowing that you can meet all your own needs without anything else needing to come into your life so that anything else that does come into your life is a brucey bonus that you're not looking for somebody to make you happy that you're not looking for anything from anyone else because you can meet all your own needs And those things of not enough and not, you know, not feeling accepted, not wanting judgment, they're always going to be standing in your way. But I can guarantee that you will not be standing in the way of the amazing manifesting queens that are coming together to work with me in my mastermind. The question is, will you be stepping up in your life and joining us? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to learn this process for yourself so that nothing can stand in your way again and that you can be supported by me for the next four months to manifest what it is that you want. I've not shared this information before. Unlikely I'll be sharing it again. 
this is a once in a lifetime opportunity so if you want details if you've not enough information on the links that i've shared please drop me a message if you've got any questions type them in now and i will do my best to answer them um my line used to be i'm too much or not enough something i used to be before working with amanda you've come on leaps and bounds nancy you really have leaps and bounds so we're heading up to the 40 minute mark which is what <laughs> Spirits seem to drop in at the beginning of this class. Who's got a manifesting question for me? Hit me up now. Who understands what I've said today? Can you, does it resonate with you? Give me some hearts if it resonates with you. If you think, yeah, I want to get, my queen deserves to have what she wants. I want to make it happen. I don't want to be in victim mode anymore. I'm going to let my bad girl out. Who wants to do that? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome, Nancy. You're welcome. Thank you for all your hearts. Do love a little heart floating past. That is it. Thank you for being with me today. I hope you've enjoyed the class. Hope you've got something from it. Don't forget to ask yourself that question. What you want and what are your beliefs around it? And if you want to flip your beliefs, if you want to heal them at the point of creation, do look at becoming a manifesting queen. That is it. See you later.